Hey folks, Ike Eastman here, Todd Helms. We're gonna to talk to you today about breakfast sausage, right Todd? Yep, we got some pronghorn and we're going to grind it up and make breakfast sausage with the old High Mountain seasonings kit. And it's pronghorn, right? Yep, it is pronghorn. So we're gonna get started. I've got stuff all set and ready to go. And we're going Why to- Why is this cold? is we put this in the freezer for like 24 hours. Because we're grinding not only meat, but we're grinding fat, we don't want that fat to turn rancid from the heat from the grinder parts. Because ah. the friction that it creates, it will actually cook that meat and turn, it'll render, start rendering out the bacon fat. It probably smooths out the whole process anyway by keeping that fat more solid versus Correct. liquefying it with the heat. And right, friction. and actually the bacon that's in here that I've got all set up and ready to go. I took it right out of the cool. freezer this morning and it then and that's what it is. Cool. So it's still pretty hard, which is what we want. So I've got a bag full of antelope. It's chunked. It's not ground yet. This is a trash bag. It is. So I thought I heard through the grapevine that you weren't supposed to use trash bags for meat. Feel that. Put your hands in there. Whoa. It's cold, isn't it? It's cold. Yep, like ice. It's okay to, it's okay to use a frozen. Pla right. It's okay to use a plastic bag when you're doing that because the meat's cold. It's not going to spoil in that bag. To put warm meat in a plastic bag, no, not, not that's not, good. not that's not good. You're going to spoil that meat pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind meat and then grind bacon, hand mix it, and we'll grind it again, and then we'll season it. What do you, you want me to do? Something to catch it? Oh, vegetarians. That's right. That's right. old Indian word for hungry. Yep, old, old Western word. Yeah. Old Western word. So what do you want me to do? Feed? Stuff? Well, make sure that this doesn't hit the floor. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Tell me not to put my fingers in here. Yep. And that Yeti bucket is actually perfect for this. Yeah, it is. That food safe bucket. All I did was clean it up really good with bleach and hot soapy water and rinsed it out really well so there's no residue left over. All right, so next step. So the next step is the bacon. We've got all of the antelope ground. Is there a formula or is this just a wag? There is a formula. I, I'm going 70-30 with this. 70% lean, 30% bacon, basically. That's pretty standard. You look just about anywhere online and that's the mixture you're gonna come up with. And you can use pork butt, you can use pork shoulder. Pork sign? Yep, but I like the bacon. Because it's been cured, right? It's got that smoke to it, it's got salt. Once it gets this coarse ground, we're gonna mix it all together with our hands in the Yeti bucket. Yeah, and you just wanna be really thorough with it, get a good mix. Otherwise, what you do is you end up with packages that Hardly any bacon in them, or hardly any fat in them. I lost them, my watch. Or hardly any meat in them. You lost your watch? <laughs> we'll find it when we grind it the second time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go in here to the freezer. I'm going to dig out the fine grind plate. This is the fine grind. We got that one in there. All of our meat is in one bucket. One bucket. So what we're going to do, we're just going to slop that meat out on the countertop. Ready? It's a hamburger patty. Yeah, and there's our mountain of meat. So if you look at what we got here, Ike, look at the bottom of this. Yeah, see, it's I all ground meat. It's hard to get to the bottom of the bucket. It's because it's cold down there, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at that, so that's an easy fix. We just mix it up. It's like mixing a giant meatloaf. We're gonna grind it again and then season it. And we're gonna use the bucket to season it. Okay. To just put it in the hopper and st stuff it in there, it doesn't work as well as if we make basically logs out of it. You can do balls, whatever, but I'm going to turn this on and watch. It's just going to help the feed by doing that. Look how fine that's coming out now. It literally looks like hamburger. It's like adult Play-Doh. <laughs> Play-Doh you can literally eat, but yeah, you definitely work up a, work up a thirst. Yeah. I got a, I got a little plan for uh, cocktails later. Oh, we've got the high mountain. Prairie Sage Blend breakfast seasoning that we're going to use. And it comes with... They got a ton of different types, right? It's like real. It's unreal how many choices that you have with them. We did 20 plus pounds of meat. So if I look on my little chart that's included, it says 24 pounds of meat, two 
pouches. There's two pouches included. I didn't do quite 24 pounds, so I'm not gonna use quite both packets. After we get this all ground up and all seasoned, it's calling for a quarter cup of ice water per pound of meat. That water makes everything bind together. I'm just gonna open these up. Oh, you smell that? That's gonna oh, be really gonna good. Be tasty. Yeah. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this on, and I'm gonna mix it in fairly slowly. Go ahead and dump that other one in. Not all of it. That's good. I don't want to over season it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather season while you're cooking than exactly. You can't unseason it. Exactly. So this has everything in it. This has it's everything you need. So one of the things I like to do when I'm looking at this is I like to kind of pair to pull it apart. And just see. You if see that seasoned. pepper? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. So the next step is to add in the ice water. You want to pour. Yep. How, how much? We're going to do the whole thing, but I don't think we need ice. Okay. You just need it to be cold. Go ahead and dump it all in. Perfect. Right now it looks watery, but the more we stir this, it thickens right up. It's like mixing concrete. And I mean, there we go. It's ideal. So we've got our sausage made. And what I like to do is I've got a scale. I like to package in one pound packages. At this point in my life, one pound package gets everybody covered for breakfast just right. You'll notice there's no freezer paper. I was gonna say, there's no freezer paper. Right. I've so, always put it in freezer paper. And most people do, and you can. But one of the things that I like to do, it's more of an organization thing because I'm a little CDO. You know, letters are in order like they're supposed to be. Plastic wrap, and I put it over the scale. I'm gonna put a pound of meat on the scale. Then I'm gonna wrap that all up and I'm gonna put it in a one gallon Ziploc freezer bag. So one per bag? Nope. I'm gonna fill this with individual one pound packages. It'll probably oh, hold so about you got like five meat, or six meat blocks in there. Exactly. So what happens is in my freezer, what I can do is I can lay this flat when it's got all those packages in it and I can stack them. It's a great, great way to go. And we'll go through this 20 pounds of sausage in 15, 20 minutes, it'll be packaged. Thanks for the great tips. Thanks. Cook some of this up. Remember guys, if you want more stuff like this, tips and tactics, hunting footage, everything to how to tie knots, subscribe at the bottom and we'll send you notifications every time we load one of these cool videos. Well, I was apprehensive with sage. That's a really good flavor. Yeah, it is.